Halton is still, for the most part, a, a rural community. And they don't have access to a lot of that stuff. So as an example, if you're a child living in rural Melton or rural Halton, you don't have access to real good broadband. Uh, so how are you going to learn through that? But it's coming to light because of uh, this virus that is more and more critical to have services such as, uh, such as that. So not only uh, students that are learning, but as an example, people in the rural areas doing business from home. And of course, I think you're probably going to see more and more of us doing business from home and not under traveling to our office. So these are just things that a lot of people don't think. But if you live in the country and you are relying on, you know, your computer uh, to connect with the world, uh, you've got a problem. Uh, and actually, uh, you know, the four mayors and the regional chair have been uh, almost uh, demanding, for the lack of a better word or phrase, the provincial and federal governments to get on with it. And of course, it's not only government that's involved, and there's big en uh, big enterprise, and of course, there's three or four major uh, players that's in the, uh, the field of telecommunications, and they have to play a very important role in it as well. And I know there's competition there, but uh, you know they have to start working together, all levels of government, and of course, uh, as I say, private enterprise, to bring those services really gonna be needed. I say it's, it's not a, not a luxury, it's, it's uh, something that's a necessity.